everyone, welcome to our course. My name is Liao Yuan Yuan, your professional Chinese teacher. So today our course is about family reunion, which is a very special event in China. Anyway, we're going to learn expressions and new characters, words about it. And if you're interested in our course, don't forget to subscribe our channel or go through our website. If you have any suggestion, just comment below. Anyway, let's start our course today. So first, these four new characters. 家庭聚会家庭聚会 I think we have learned 家庭 in family before, family members before. 家庭家庭聚会聚会聚 means gather together and 会 means meeting or party. So this is literally a family party. 家庭聚会 In traditional Chinese society, this is the one of biggest and most important thing in your life. Um, people will gather together with their family in spring festival and every important event. For example, birthday party. Uh, most of the time, if you're not living in your home far away, you will spend your birthday party with your parents, with your relatives, and with your friends. First, we have birthday party. 生日晚会 生日晚会 and here wan means night, so this is a party at night. Um, because most of the time you celebrate your birthday party at night, right? 生日晚会 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 And then candle 蜡烛 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 And then birthday cake 生日 birthday and cake as 蛋糕, we have learned this in measures. 蛋糕, 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 生日蛋糕. And then we have birthday card. 生日卡, 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 which means birthday card. Card, 卡. It sounds really like ka 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 shenru ka. This is borrowed from English anyway. To sing birthday par <coughs> to sing happy birthday song. Chang shenru ge chang shenru ge chang shenru ge. The melody of Chinese happy birthday song is the same as happy birthday. Um, it's 祝你生日快乐祝你生日快乐 Like happy birthday to you Always the same And then birthday gift 生日礼物 We just learned gift last course, right? 生日礼物 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 礼物 means gift What about send the gift? 送礼物 or sometimes you can omit it, the wu because wu means stuff and li means gift. It's the stuff which is a gift, so you can just say song li yi. Song li yi is the same as song li wu. And then we have to celebrate an elder's birthday. This one is most important because to respect the elders in your home, um, so the event will be much more bigger and um, more people will come in this kind of event. So, 祝寿, we call it. 祝寿, 寿 means your age. So, um, and 祝 means to wish the best. So, um, it's in your birthday and people wish you the best. So, we call it 祝寿. 祝寿, both first turn. 祝寿, read for me. 祝寿. And then longevity noodles. 长寿面. 长寿面 We have learned that 寿 We have learned that 寿 means age and 长 means long We have learned it in opposite and 面 means noodle So 长寿面 means long live the noodle No, it means the noodle that has a long age um, It's just a literal meaning Anyway um, people think that the long length of the noodle is a symbol of long age, which is kind of superstitious, but anyway, people just eat noodles in their birthday. 
sometimes. Um, it's a traditional stuff. Um, um, it sounds a little bit superstitious, but it is not really. It's just the best wish. Okay, and then person having birthday. The person who having birthday, we call it Shou Xing. Xing means star, so he is a star today. Um, and Shou means age. Um, so eight star. No, you cannot say it. Um, just the person who have birthday. Shou Xing, Shou Xing, Shou Xing, and then peach shaped birthday cake. Peach shaped birthday cake. That's Shou Tao, Shou Tao, Shou Tao, and then we have to celebrate Lunar New Year. This is the most important day that you should spend with your、um, parents and your families in China. 过年，过年，过年 You have learned this before. And happiness character or 福 character. 福 literally just means happiness. I think it's greater than happiness. And 字、uh, means character. People will paste. Um, a paper with a fu zi on it, just like this, on the paper, and put it, and and put it upside down on their front door because upside down is dao dao in Chinese, and if the fu zi is dao, means fu is coming because there are two different words. Pronounce the same dao. One is means coming. One means upside down. So the fu zi is upside down in Chinese. Just sounds like fu is coming, which is happiness is coming. And then we have paper cards. We call it chuang hua. Chuang means window because most of the time we put the paper card on the window. So it's chuang hua, and hua means flowers because the paper cards are mostly shaped in a flower shape. Chuang hua, chuang hua, both Latin, and then we have firecrackers like this. Bian pao, bian pao, bian pao, flat, of course, bian pao, and then New Year couplet. This three, couplet, and this is fu zi. We just learned it. Fu zi, fu look two. Um, this one is not upside down, but it's okay. Anyway, 春联，春联，春联 ，then firework， 烟花，烟花 ，both flattened. And there is a very important thing I have to mention that, um, in nowadays people are not allowed to use firecrackers and firework in urban area, um, in city because it causes a lot of air pollution and、uh, it causes a lot of um. Because, yeah, because it causes a lot of air pollution、um, to the city area. Anyway, and then to clean, 打扫，打扫，打扫 We have heard this before. And to make dumplings, 包饺子，包饺子，包饺子 Play mahjong. This one is much more popular in,、um, I think it's more popular in East. 打麻将，打麻将，打麻将。This is mahjong. This doesn't look like dumplings. And then to eat New Year Eve dinner, 吃年夜饭。吃年夜饭 To hold a reunion, 团圆团圆团圆 To give a New Year greeting, we have learned this before. 拜年拜年拜年 All of the things you have to do with your family. Um, I I don't even know anyone who will will give a New Year greeting to other people with their friends. Most of the time, you're with your relative. Practice time. Welcome to my birthday party. Thank you for your birthday gift. 欢迎 welcome, 来到 come. 
欢迎来到我的 my 生日晚会 birthday party。谢谢你们的生日，谢谢你们的生日礼物，谢谢 thank you thanks your 你们的生日礼物 birthday gift。欢迎来到我的生日晚会，谢谢你们的生日礼物。And 等唱完生日歌，吹完蜡烛，我们就一起吃蛋糕吧。After singing the birthday song and blowing out the candles, let's eat the cake together. Then wait until 唱完 sing. The 生日歌 birthday song, 吹完蜡烛 means one means finish doing something. You have put it after the verb. 吹完 means after blowing. 吹完蜡烛，我们就一起。我们就 means let's let us 一起 together 吃 it 蛋糕 cake 把。Um, which means let's do something. Ah,、uh, so, 我们就一起吃蛋糕吧 But didn't have any meaning. It's just an expression. It is just show your emotion that let's do something. Um, 我们一起吃蛋糕吧等唱完生日歌，吹完蜡烛，我们就一起吃蛋糕吧 Oh, this is a course day. We have learned a lot of new expression and new words, new characters. Don't forget to do some review. And if you're interested in our course, don't forget to subscribe our channel, go to our website. If you have any suggestion, just comment below. Don't forget to check the homework. Bye.